you want to know, it's phenomenal. I should make sugar cane espresso. Then after you have your espresso, it's essential. This is how we're doing Sicily. You have to have a splash of water. In Sicily, so you go into a Sicilian bar, right? Coffee bar, bakery, whatever. There's lot there's shots of espresso lined up. You just put your dollar down, and then also there's shot of water. There's a shot of espresso here, a shot of water here. It's essential you do that. Like you have to. The espresso won't work correctly if you don't wash it down with water immediately after because it's so condensed. It's like almost taking a pill and not swallowing it with water. It gets stuck and it's not going to do its job properly. I drink a lot of water with it. So I'll have a shot immediately and then I'll just sip on this. But anyways, I'm still here in Minneapolis. Uh, drove down here with my buddy from Brooklyn and we made it to Minneapolis because that's where my car is. The next time I get out of Wilson, I'm going to be flying out of Wilson. I'm not going to do any of this ridiculousness of going to Minneapolis and spending a bunch of fucking money for no reason. Because we did the math, me and my friend, and flying out of Wilson, if you book two weeks in advance, you can get a round trip ticket to Brooklyn, JFK Airport in New York for, uh, how much was it, like 550 or 450? So, Christina, if you're watching this, we're definitely going to be moving to Brooklyn, so it's more of a international airport going. Boston's good too, but I think the flights to Boston were like 100 bucks more, so... But then again, or the, the availability of... That's what it was. The availability of JFK was like every day you can get a flight from Wilson to JFK. Not every day you can get a flight from Wilson to Boston. I don't even know if I've seen a flight from Wilson to Boston without a layover. So it's for me. It's better just to fly to New York, get a friggin' slice of pie, go to that uh, expensive ass fucking restaurant that we went to, Christina, that I dropped fifty dollars on breakfast for, sixty with a tip. But that was good. That was a good time. That was good. That was well worth it. That was our first time going out to eat. All right. Now look at it. This is why I haven't left yet. Look at the parking lot. The streets are pretty bad too. I just seen a guy on a bicycle. These um, these people in the Midwest or whatever you want to call this out here, they're fucking savages. They just like to ride in the in the uh, in the ice. Which I'm about all about that too. It's just a matter of uh, my car right now, the 1999 Corolla. That was, it's been a big mistake keeping it so. I'm working towards selling it. Possibly even today, I might get rid of it because it's just it's weighing me down. It's costing a bunch of money because there's a couple of things that I need to get fixed, but I haven't had the time to take it to the mechanic to get it fixed, and I just need to get rid of it. It's just time. It's past due. Right now, it's it's useless. Right now, I can't even ride in the ice right now with it. So I'm gonna wait till the morning commute's over. And that was espresso talk with Ken Lucas. Y'all have a good day. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. There will be more espresso talk later, possibly. Alright. Alrighty then.